Okay, here's how to set up the ICOM 7300 for using FT8. So first off, you're going to want to go and set your mode. So touch up here, we want upper sideband, and we also want data mode. So now we're going to go to filter, and we're going to hold this. And see, we've already got it up, but we will go to bandwidth. And you can use this. Its uh, default is three kilohertz, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and bump it up to 3.6, which is as wide as it'll go. And then we're gonna exit. So then we're gonna go to function. We want to turn AGC off. So we're gonna hold AGC. We we'll go to the fast. It's highlighted and turn it all the way down until it says off. Then exit. So then we'll go to menu and set. Go into connectors. Starting out with output select. I'm going to be on AF. AF output level 50%. AF squelch off or open. AF beep speech output off. IF output level 50%, accessory mod level 50%, USB modulation level 40%, data off mode, mic, accessory, data mode, USB, external keypad, we'll go in there and there's some other settings, we just want all these off, we don't need them. CIV, go up to the top, baud rate is auto, CIV address 94H, CIV transceive on, USB to remote transceive address 00, output for antenna off, USB port unlink from remote, USB baud rate 115200 USB echo back on and that's it for those so we'll go back to the connectors and we'll keep on going down USB serial function CIV and uh, I know that's kind of hard to read but it's a uh, ready decode baud rate is 9600 USB send RTS USB keying CW off USB King ready off and that's pretty much it so we can just go ahead and go back and next thing we'll go to meter on here and we want to be able to see ALC because we're going to need that later uh, when we do the software stuff so that's about it for that to show you the software setup for the 7300 uh, just a heads up I am running this in Linux so some of the things may be a little bit different from Windows uh, but for the most part these settings should carry over to work with the 7300 so we'll start off going to file we'll go to settings um, there's really nothing under the general tab that has to do with operating the radio so we'll go ahead and go straight to radio We're gonna, rig is gonna be ICOM 7300 your serial port this will change from Windows uh, to Linux it'll also change from computer to computer so be aware of that if you're on Linux it's gonna be something like dev slash TTY USB 0 1 2 3 4 or something along those lines if you're on Windows it's gonna be uh, com 1 2 3 4 or something like that so that will change depending on your computer and your operating system uh, next thing is gonna be baud rate uh, that will be that's a carryover from earlier we had the 115200 setting so that needs to be set in here data bits will be 8 stop bits will be 2 handshake is none your force control lines uh, you don't need to mess with this so just leave them as is uh, push to talk method RTS and use the same port that you have right here under this setting. For your mode, you want to set to data packet 
and split operation will be set to fake it. Next we'll go to the audio tab. For the input you'll select your driver. For Windows it'll be a different name and probably from distro to distro in Linux it'll be different but you're looking for something along the lines of a USB audio codec but you want the input for the input and the output for the output. That's really all you need to set on this page here. Then to adjust your levels would be the final thing that you'll have to do and you want to use this meter over here to set your receive and to do that you'll need to open up your capture devices and your uh, playback devices and adjust the levels in there. So for the for the receive you'll actually you're actually going to go to the capture device audio codec and you will adjust this up or down according to this meter over here. You want it at about 75 to 80 as long as it is not redlining. If I turn this up you'll see that that meter turns to red. You want to keep it below the red otherwise you're getting distortion. So we'll just keep on turning that down. You see it turn green there. I'm going to go a little bit more get it right around 75 to 80. So that looks pretty good right there. Then for your transmit, now we'll find a um, find a blank spot on here, which may be easier said than done. This looks okay for w our purposes. We're going to go to tune, and of course, make sure that your antenna is tuned at this point. If not, this is when you would do that. And then you come in here and you want to look at your ALC. Remember I pulled up the meter earlier. You want to look at that ALC meter and bring this up until you see a little bit of ALC and then bring it just below when you see that ALC go completely off of the meter. Once you have that, go ahead and note that that is a 44%. It may be different on your setup. Go ahead and note that. You can close this, turn off tune, and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching.